But if all you want is next generation, you're in the wrong place. Because what you'll see from Nintendo is not just next. Instead, it's what's absolutely new. The Wii is undoubtedly the best Nintendo console. Maybe it's probably cause I'm a bit biased, I played on it when I was younger and it's still in my house, but I mean, just look at the sales. If that doesn't tell you that it was a great console, then nothing will. Sure, it was underpowered compared to its competition, the PS3 and Xbox 360, and it was a home for lots of shovelware games, which were low budget, poor quality video games, in the hopes of game companies making a quick buck. Also the fact that the Wii Remote was a living how to use. It was so hard to just press play on a game, your arm would just get tired after a while. But it still holds a special place in my heart. The idea of the Wii was created in 2001. Game designer Shigeru Miyamoto had a concept that involved focusing on a new form of player interaction. The consensus was that power isn't everything for a console. Too many powerful consoles can't coexist. It's like having only ferocious dinosaurs. They might fight and hasten their own extinction. The Wii was not meant to compete with the Xbox 360 and PS3 on graphics and power. Instead, to target a larger demographic of players through innovative gameplay. Nintendo built the Wii from commercial off-the-shelf products hardware, rather than customizable components. Miyamoto said, Originally, I want a machine that would cost $100. My idea was to spend nothing on the console technology, so all all the money could be spent on improving the interface and software. The console's central processing unit was an IBM PowerPC based processor named Broadway with a clock frequency of 729 MHz. The Wii's GPU was a system on a chip produced by ATI and named Hollywood. The core processor runs at 243 MHz, 3 MB of texture memory, digital signal processors, and input slash output functions. The GPU included an additional 24 MB of 1TS RAM and an additional 64 megabytes of 1TS RAM on the motherboard, turtling to 88 megabytes of memory for the console. The Wii was 1.5 to 2 times faster than the GameCube. The Wii has a disc loader at the front, you can only put Wii or GameCube discs, but can't put DVD video, DVD audio or compact discs. The slot of the optical drive is backed by LED lights which show the system status. The console was originally known by the codename Revolution until April 27, 2006. It was changed to Wii, because it sounds like Wii, which reinforces that the console is made for everyone to enjoy. It's also easy to say and can be easily remembered by people around the world. The Wii was released on November 19, 2006 in US for $249.99 and in December 2006 for other regions in the world. The first party titles that launched were Wii Sports, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Excite Truck. Wii Sports was nothing crazy, it was just playing sports without actually playing sports. But it was really fun and I still play it from time to time. Wii Sports was bundled in with the launch bundle. It's also the main reason for many Wii's being brought and showed off the Wii Remote's capabilities nicely. Twilight Princess was a well received entry in the franchise but the graphics were lacking as it was originally going to be released on the GameCube. Excite Truck was basically just a racing game but it was also well received. The controller for the Wii, the Wii Remote, both motion sensing and traditional controls which could be used as a pointing device towards the TV screen. The classic controller was an extension for the Wii Remote with a D-pad, four face buttons, start and select buttons alongside the Wii connection button and two shoulder buttons. It was way easier to use than the Wii Remote. Three years later, the Classic Controller Pro was released. The Wii launched with six channels. The Disc Channel, which was used to play games. The Me Channel, where you can make customizable Me Avatar abominations, which I would always try to make as ugly as possible or make it look like a character. Average Discord mod right here. Shadow Lord, oh my god. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Trump. Fat free. Iggy V. Bro's name is literally enchanted table language. Photo channel, which could be used to view photos stored on SD card. Wii Shop channel to buy new games. The Forecast channel and the News channel. Later on, other free channels created by Nintendo were available to users, such as the Internet channel, which supported USB keyboard input and Adobe Flash Player. The Wii supported wireless Nintendo DS connectivity. The connectivity allowed the player to use the Nintendo DS microphone and touchscreen as inputs for Wii games. Third-party media apps were added to the Wii 
Wii's online channels such as the BBC iPlayer, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Amazon Prime, and Crunchyroll. In January 2019, Nintendo ended support for all streaming services on the Wii. Virtual console service allowed owners to experience games originally released for Nintendo's older consoles, including the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Nintendo 64. Later down the line, the service included games from third-party consoles, including the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive and Sega Mark III slash Master System, and various arcade games through Virtual Console Arcade. WiiWare was Nintendo's introduction into digital distribution on the Wii, comparable to Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. The service allowed players to purchase games digitally through the Wii Shop. The WiiWare channel launched on March 25th, 2008 and was discontinued in 2019. The Wii kept bumping out quality exclusives like Super Mario Galaxy, Xenoblade Chronicles, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Super Mario Bros Wii, Mario Kart Wii, and Super Smash Bros Brawl. I don't care what anyone says, this is my favourite Smash Bros game. It was my first introduction to Smash Bros. I mean, it was the first time we got non-Nintendo characters in Smash, such as Solid Snake and Sonic. I know it was really edgy and dark for no reason, but I thought that was awesome as a kid. Oh, and Wii Fit, that got me to do exercise and get off my fat ass for once. You play a bunch of mini games where you have to use your body and use this Wii Pad accessory to track your fitness. So kind of like the Xbox Connect before the Xbox Connect. The Wii Launch Bundle include the console, stand to allow the console to be placed vertically, a plastic stabilizer for the main stand, one Wii remote, a nunchuck attachment for the remote, and an external power adapter. The Wii Mini was first released on December 7th, 2012. It was a smaller redesign Wii with a top loading disk drive. It was later released in Europe on March 22, 2013 and in the United States on November 7, 2013. I love the Wii. It's just an amazing console. Despite its power and graphics, it's still pushed through with interesting gameplay mechanics with the Wii Remote and great exclusives and was an overall massive success for Nintendo. Too bad Wii U wasn't. This is why I think Wii is the best Nintendo console. <laughs>